Have you ever had a craving for a really specific type of game and felt like nothing else would satisfy? Every so often I become obsessed with a new roguelike game and it easily becomes part of my daily schedule. There's something beautifully satisfying to me about slowly building up my skills over a set of discrete runs which I can easily fit around work and other commitments. Roguelike action games are a genre I'm relatively familiar with, but somehow Monolith passed me by when it was originally released in 2017. I'm very glad to have discovered it now though, because it definitely deserves a place among the best roguelike bullet hell games of this generation. From the gameplay on screen now, it probably isn't hard to see Monolith's lineage. Despite its 8-bit styled appearance, it's a modern roguelike twin-stick shooter in the vein of Enter the Gungeon or The Binding of Isaac. Like in those iconic titles, in Monolith you explore floors constructed of randomly generated sets of rooms full of enemies and occasional upgrades, and your traversal deeper is blocked on each level by a challenging boss. This overarching structure is certainly tried and tested, and in such a competitive field of imitators, these games are most frequently separated by the quality of their moment to moment gameplay. Thankfully, Monolith really nails fundamental game feel and feedback. Weapons have a satisfying sense of impact, enemies and projectiles read clearly, and, whether you're using a keyboard and mouse or a gamepad, controls are responsive and consistent. Beyond this though, I also feel like there's a few areas where Monolith improves on existing standouts of the genre. One of my frustrations in The Binding of Isaac was not knowing whether exploration of a stage would be a justified risk, since rewards were exclusively random drops. While I acknowledge that this uncertainty was a fundamental mechanic, I found it irritating to take damage while exploring dead ends without receiving any real gains. While Monolith still features random loot drops, you receive currency to spend at shops from every enemy you defeat. This helps mitigate the frustration of taking damage in a room that you didn't need to explore. I also really like the unique way Monolith handles weapon upgrades. Rather than there being a massive assortment of unique weapons, as is frequently the norm, there's a relatively small set of weapon types, but with randomly mixed perks and attributes. For instance, all shotgun style weapons shoot a cluster of pellets, and all lasers shoot a continuous solid beam. But some shotguns might shoot homing pellets, some lasers might slow enemies down, you might find perks where bullets penetrate enemies or bounce off walls. This mixed parameter weapon system means you'll very rarely find the exact same weapon twice, but you'll still quickly build familiarity with all the weapons in the game. Monolith certainly isn't afraid to borrow ideas that work from other games though. One of my favourite parts of Enter the Gungeon was the way your starting area would attract more denizens, decorations and shops as you ventured deeper. Monolith replicates this excellently. While the gameplay is always going to be the most important part of any game like this, it would be remiss of me to not mention the care that's gone into the audio and visual presentation of Monolith. 8-bit styled games are a dime a dozen nowadays, but those art styles are rarely presented with such authenticity and refinement. Backgrounds hint at detail and complexity without interfering with foreground action, subtle animations imbue enemies with character, and the effects used on some bosses are really impressive and striking. There are so many little graphical touches which add to the game's polished presentation. I love the way your ship arcs as it turns, or the way the interface starts glitching out as you get lower on health. And all of the action is propelled by a driving 8-bit soundtrack which would sound at home in the best arcade shooters of the 80s. Considerable thought has been put into maintaining the standard and consistency of Monolith's tone and style. So, if, like me, you've been craving a new shoot 'em up roguelike to sink your teeth into, Monolith comes highly recommended. It's the perfect synthesis of 1980s aesthetics and modern design elegance. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing to see more of these discussions in the future. I also make a whole bunch of covers of video game music, so if that's your thing, you can check that out with the cards on screen now. Take care of yourself and I'll catch you soon.